so today I'm getting in the car because I'm heading out to work and I want to review this this grip go for the um for the cell phone in the car <laughs> I did a review already on it that I didn't post yet because I call it grip and go but it's grip go so that's what I'm gonna do today guys we're gonna review the grip go okay so I'm taping to show you guys that my old clunky phone is sitting on the grip go we're going straight right now and it's not flying off okay now I tried my son's smartphones one of them have an iPhone the other one has one of those expensive smartphones and they have a plastic um, cover on it that they put on after they bought the phone and it's it stayed there but I didn't trust it it didn't feel as tightly secured as this phone right here so Joe's gonna make a left turn right now and we're gonna see how it fares in a left turn try to keep a steady hand all right, so you guys see, it stayed pretty good. So that part's not gonna be a problem. All right, so I wanna see how difficult it is to take it off of the um, grip go. Go ahead, take it off for me, Joe. Was it hard? It's stuck there. It, it's, it's really stuck on there, but it wasn't like really hard to peel it off, right? If you do it like this, you gotta... Okay, so you took it off with one hand though. So that proves that, you know, it's not too, too difficult to get it off of there. So that part works. All right, so what I wanna do now is make a phone call and keep the phone on speaker to see if I can hear Josh. I'm gonna call my son Josh to see if I can hear him and if he can hear me pretty good from this spot where the phone sits on the dashboard, okay? Hello, Josh. Hello. Can you hear me pretty good from where I have the phone right now while I'm driving? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Okay, I can hear you okay too. I don't know if I could carry on a long conversation like this, but I can somewhat hear you. Maybe if the phone had a better speaker phone, maybe that would work, but I can hear you. Okay, so I, I think I'm gonna give my summary on this one. Thanks, Josh. Bye -bye. So this is what I feel about the GripGo. I like it. I thought it was gonna block my line of vision the way I had it on the dashboard, but it actually didn't. I don't think I could put it any place else though. Okay, I can't put it on the passenger side because then it'll block that view. And I, I don't think that people will be able to hear me when the phone's on speaker. So I think right in the middle is where it belongs. It's not for long conversations because you know you can't hear so good you know, the whole step of the way. But then again, I don't have long conversations when I'm in the car anyways. So, and it beats the alternative of sticking the phone in here. This is where I stick it when I want to have it on speaker so I could be hands-free. And, um, cause I'm one of those people that don't like the Bluetooth because I think the Bluetooth causes brain damage. So for this, for what this thing is intended, I like it. Two thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Here we go. I have my little iPod. Let's see if that will stay. Oh, well that, I would figure that would stay too because it looks just like a phone, right? So that's it. I kind of like that. I can put the iPod and play some music. I don't know if I'll get a lot of use out of this to talk on speaker on my phone, but I think I'll get a lot of use out of this to play music from my iPod. And of course, you don't want to forget these things in the car when you get out, okay? So you want to always be able to grab these um, mobile devices and take them with you because somebody will break into your car for this or the sun can damage it too. So.